Okay, so what I'll do now is show you how to change these eyelets out on the Oz tent if you wanted to be able to use the better poles and also the double light. Now you can see the difference in, in the size of the eyelets, the ones that come standard with the Oz tent and the larger ones. Now it's really very simple to do. Now what you've got to do is, uh, there's your tent there, right? So just sort of have that V. You need your awning to come to unroll, so you might have to sort of fold the tent out to undo the awning, but you want a little bit of room to move, so just have the tent folded up back like that with the V sticking out. Now, a few things what you need. That's a little kit that we can sell, right? Eh? And it's very simple, just a couple of pieces of the eyelet. There's only two pieces, the little setter. You need a nice sharp pair of uh, side cutters a hammer. You don't have to have one of these, that's a, a hole cutter. You can just use a sm small pair of scissors, but to show you it's a little bit easy with that. First thing what you've got to do is try and cut this eyelet out, okay? Now you're best to start from the, from the bottom and with a nice pair of side cutters, just being careful. Okay, it doesn't take much to get it out actually. And what you want to do is go around on four sides you basically want to cut this out, okay? So we're just going to cut that a few times and it'll soon start to break out, okay? You can see that there. All right, then you can just lift this out. All right, now you're left with the hole and that's just not big enough for that to go through, so we need to open that hole up. Now something like this here, you know, a small pair of scissors is really good. That's all you, you need, and you can just sort of trim that around um, like that. Just do it really carefully. And you have to do both sides if you've got a pair of scissors. All right, but what I'll do is just use um, this hole cutter. Alright, so just a bit easy if I do with that. Righto. Now the kit consists of a small, you know, setter and a die. And what you do is sit that one on there like that. The little teeth goes on top with the material in between. Sit this on there and give it a hit. Now that's going to bend this top section over and hold it in nice and tight. Now really what you want is, uh, is this flat section without the teeth on top. Okay, so we're going to work from, uh, you know, upside down basically. So make sure you have that on the top. Just sit him there on the die. Okay, make sure it's sitting nice. This one just sits on top. Put your little setter on there. and give it a good whack. Right here, so we can do that again if you like, just give it another good hit, just to make sure it's right. And there you go, have a look at that. You know, it's perfectly formed, they're very easy, and it'll only take a few minutes to do all four of those. Okay, so there's four of them on there. Um, two on the outside, like that, and there's also two of these ones here which are for the peak side walls. I'll do this one as well. Okay, so we'll do this one again. Just cut the, basically cut it in four pieces like that and just work your way around with the side snips and that'll quickly just break apart. See that? And that'll just come out. Okay, so we have to have the flat section on top. Right, so we're sort of working upside down. Radio. Like that. Make sure that's not sitting on any of the material. The little tooth section goes on top of that there. Set it on top of that. Righto. And that's done. So 
Yeah, I think it's uh, worthwhile taking the time if you tend to do that, and then it does make a big difference with the poles, you know, that you can use to help that awning. Thanks very much. Good on you.